Welcome to Cape Town, South Africa on this beautiful day in May 2016. We're here to see the latest yacht to come out of the Maverick Yachts boatyard in Cape Town. This Maverick 440 is called Air Power. The Maverick is a yacht that's designed for a liveaboard cruiser, either a couple or a family. You want to liveaboard and circumnavigate. So it's a long range blue water cruising vessel designed for space, comfort and reliability uh, without sacrificing performance. It's an extremely light yacht for its size. Uh, it's coming off the crane, fully equipped in the spec at 12 tons. What makes it light is its PVC foam core and then it has hand laid stitch fabrics uh, in the layup in the female molds for strength and polyester resins. This boat has on the back a tender with propane 9 horsepower engine so you can of course fit uh, up to 25 horsepower on the back. You'll see flexi teak on the outside. It looks and feels like real wood. It's very grippy in the wet. Uh, doesn't take too much heat loading. It's an incredibly durable product. It looks fantastic. Special feature of the Maverick is the swim ladder uh, that has extra steps on it. So if you are scuba diving, you have your gear on. It's very easy to climb in and out of. This yacht has a double helm seat. Uh, you can have a bench seat or these two separate seats. Another great feature of the Maverick is the easy access from the dock. You can see there's lots of places to step on easily. Uh, to put your bags on, climb on with the tender at the back. Or when you're coming into Moor, there's also this boarding step midship. And other distinctive features are those nice big windows. Take a look at the outside and some of the key features of this yacht. There's the life raft aft. You have here shore power and the boat can take both 220 and 110 volt shore power. So you can really plug it in anywhere in the world at any marina. There's a nice hammock seat aft. There's a cockpit table with a swivel where you can seat four people with a chair five people. Uh, but if you want to seat up to 10 or 12 people for dinner, you can. You just simply lower this table. Very clever feature. Lowers down on a pole, and you've got bench seats. You can put four, four, eight people around the table. If we take a look now at the home station, See the helm is uh, extremely well laid out. There's no ne not necessary to put your hand through the steering wheel at any time. So all the buttons are above the helm, and you can operate your uh, chart plotter from here. Your AIS, your wind instruments. There's a chain counter, and there are two uh, very powerful, brand new design Yanmar 45s in this boat. So let's take. A look at the engines. The engines are aft so it keeps all the smell and the noise out of the yacht which is also easy for maintenance to keep your yacht clean. Let's have a look at the engine bays of this Maverick 440 Custom. There's a nice big 45s running probably a gallon an hour, four liters an hour uh, with the fuel tanks, there's 220 gallons of fuel on board, unmatched in its class, it easily achieve 1,500 nautical miles. And for maintenance, everything is ready at hand. You can change your salt water filter, fresh filter. You got your oil and fuel filter here. You can reach your bolts. So everything. All the maintenance can be done very easily without even stepping into the engine bay. But if you do have to climb in there for some more serious work, uh, it's very easy to do. There's a fixed bar here to click the two rudders together. The autopilot is connected to this fixed bar. So if your 
cable steering should snap. Your first backup is your autopilot and your second backup would be your emergency tiller. On the side here is a chlorophenator. You can get plenty of hot water on board at any time. Nice feature above these windows are the eyelids so you can open the windows and st keep the water out so if it's raining and still get ventilation. If we step on the side here you'll see a rope tail bin, keeps your deck nice and tidy. There's an electric winch that can be also operated with your knee which is uh, good, keep both your hands free. This Maverick Custom is finished in oyster white. As you walk down the deck you'll notice there's a clean walk, nothing to stub your toes on. Uh, all the hatches are on one side and where you're walking there's nothing in your way. It's a beautiful dolphin seat here. It's a, you know, a testament to the mentality in the, in the design and this build of this yacht. The seat is incredibly comfortable. It's shaped to your body, a uh, lovely place to watch the ocean, look at dolphins. Highest quality Ferrari trampolines. You have also a bow spritz on this yacht. Um, the anchor is set aft for better weight distribution. You can just flip this up if you want to hook on the bridle. And your windlass can be operated using these two but touch buttons or you can operate it from the helm. Here's the windlass. The lockers on the Maverick are uh, very big. In this locker you will have the gas bottles in a separate compartment. Gas there. Uh, secondary anchor. Storage for your sails. And in this locker there's a 12 kilowatt generator, northern lights, with the controls above it and uh, that can also be mounted in the starboard forward cabin. The windows on the Maverick are laminated tempered glass and uh, in the hulls it's polycarbonate which is the same material that they use on aeroplanes and uh, on, on the roof there's also a skylight that's made out of armor plated glass. Here's the skylight. <coughs> if we move aft you'll see that there are four solar panels mounted on the roof here. You can walk on them, they're designed to be walked on and that will give you about you know just shy of 900 uh, watts Maverick 440. Now the Maverick has, uh, has superb ventilation. You see four hatches running on either side of the hulls and four in the salon and there's 14 opening windows and the sliding door so this is the best ventilated yacht on the market in its size. The load carrying capacity is fantastic. It can take a big payload, three tons, that would include a thousand liters, 260 gallons of fresh water, 220 gallons or 800 liters of diesel, you know, and easily an extra ton of provisions. The home seats have got this rather nice feature. You can have it in the up position, like the seat on the far side, so you can lean back against the seat. You just lock the swivel post, um, or you can pop it down if you want to sit on the seat. It's easy just to flick up and down like that. Right, so we've seen the outside. The, let's take a look at the visibility from the helm. If you are in the helm station, you can see all four corners of the yacht. 
see the dolphin seats on either side and very important when you're coming into dock you can see both back corners from standing at the home this Maverick has a fixed uh, windscreen which also flips up and that gives you excellent uh, weather protection and if it is raining it holds back all the water when you can look through with your eyes you just pop this windscreen up and you flick it here and here and you pop it up and you can use your own eyes and then the water comes in nice cup holders there too let's take a look inside you have these two big sliding doors so that opens up the cockpit into the interior an exterior space can be come one it's a very easy serving space from the galley to the outside and also if you are at the helm of the yacht and you want to come inside and check your plot charts or operate your switchboard it's just one step away there's the chart table you know how's your switchboard there's the SSB radio the VHS and there's also VHS holder on the outside uh, you can put a repeater of the chart plotter outside to the TV and the TV sits in a place in the yacht where there's uh, no reflection sheltered from the sun so there's no glare on the screen and you can sit in the u-shaped seating in the salon you can sit eight, eight people here for dinner the table folds out very logically flip it around like this and just pop it out and then it comes up on a compression post and you can easily seat eight people for dinner so you have both options um, there is a back rest uh, so there's normally u-shaped seating uh, that's been removed at the moment so you can see the full length uh, queen size bed that's a day bed very useful for if you're under passage the one can sleep up there while the other keeps watch We're just nice handy relaxation place what's good is if you have occasional people sleeping up there you can still use the dining table the galley is absolutely superb, the biggest on a 40 foot catamaran. There's ample cupboard space, double sink on this side. If you go forward, there's a wash dryer in this cupboard here. The inverters on this side. And then you have a fridge freezer combination drawers very good use of space and also very energy efficient and then on this side you have an extra stand up fridge and uh, a prep bowl, microwave oven, a drinks cabinet, a place for a coffee machine, three burner, of course, tank, stove and oven and outside there's also a bra on the off transom the bin location is also very logical you can access the bin from here easily from the cockpit or from the galley and when you want to take out the trash it's right by the door there's lovely woodwork on this yacht this is a real wood veneer mahogany and you can see it changes according to the light this is just a stunning type of wood and the craftsmanship is fantastic here we've got teak and holly floors and real leather right let's take a quick look at this switchboard before we go into the owner's hall very extensive switchboard due to the amount of systems on this yacht this is the SSB radio so the full starboard hull is dedicated to the owner, uh, it's accessed through these stairs with this handy rail, a nice and easy access, and a sliding door. The first thing you're greeted with is a lovely comfortable leather chair. You have a study bureau with lots of drawer space and cupboard space. Uh, if you close the sliding door, 
you'll see that there's four full length cupboards for your clothes. Um, there's more storage space underneath the bunks. And there's an island bed on the back, so it's very easy to access. Lots of headroom height. Uh, you have four opening hatches and six windows in the owner's hull, so perfect ventilation. More storage again under the bunks. If you ever need to do any electrical maintenance, it's very easy to access. You can just sit on the bunk nice and comfortably and do any electrical work. Uh, switchboard is fantastically laid out and, and the wiring is neatly done in this yacht. This is the back of the switchboard. Highly professional job. Every single wire is labeled and it comes with the wiring di diagram and the owner's manual. Some nice little features on this boat. The brass finishings and the brass touches, brass lights, and this lovely mahogany wood. We step into the owner's head now. You'll see a single basin. Uh, most Maverick 440s have a double basin. That's just a choice. Yeah, they went for extra counter space. And then there's sliding mirrors. Place to put your toothbrush. This has an electric head. Uh, the head can be used either with salt water or fresh water. And it's a, a large window. Also the blind is found. It's got three hatches in here. What's nice about these hatches, especially the one here, is it's above the shower and bath area so you can have it open when it's raining and it just simply rains into the shower and drains out um, and you can also catch rainwater directly into your bath if you like this is a hundred and litre uh, per hour water maker spectra self pickling unit and once again, it's very easy access for, for maintenance, changing filters, everything is ready at hand. You can do it while you're standing up. That's the one thing with the Maverick is all systems are very easy to access. There's full redundancy in all systems. But if you have to do maintenance, it's a pleasure because it's not hard to get anywhere. In this forward locker, you see the rest of the water maker. And storage and black water tanks. This is another nice feature is there's a seat that doubles as a laundry basket. So everything that you need, all your creature comforts of home, right here on the Maverick 440. Look at the colour of the mahogany woods, just fantastic. On, on the Maverick you can choose any real wood veneer finish that you like, you just pick the wood, you can pick the floor, you can pick the leather, the upholstery, the fittings, the light fittings, the configuration, the layout, anything, uh, just the owner's personal choice. Yeah, if we go forward we just walk through to the cabins on the other side. First I'll start with the port forward cabin. Uh, the port forward cabin has a neat little walkway uh, which gives you access to a pantry forward which is a good storage area. Everything neat and tidy it's, it's better than digging underneath the bunks for things. Uh, underneath the bunks here is uh, uh, your water tanks and then, and then uh, there is a wooden platform here that covers this and you can flip it open to a double bed and nice storage again very good size window fans reading lights usb charges everything is here um, if you have to change a, a water pump fresh water or salt water pump the, you can do it from here once again very easy to access the pumps you just open it up and you can sw swap them out. Um, the first thing you notice is there's actually two of everything. There's two fresh water pumps. 
and there's two salt water pumps. So if one breaks, you just flip a switch and you've got a backup immediately. And if you have to change it out, you just grab it and change it out. It's a nice and easy job. And then the upper cupboards here is just some storage for extra bottles and things. Some people put a tool uh, kit here with a flip down workbench and a vise. That again is just the owner's choice. Um, this boat has three cabins and two heads, which is a good layout for private yachts. Less maintenance, the two heads. And it just gives you a very generously proportioned, this is the second head. And if you look at it, there's a fantastic stand-up shower. It's nice. Uh, ventilation from the top. Again, you can leave that open, ventilate the boat. If it's raining, it's no problem. You've got a seat in there. It's very spacious. This one's got a manual head, but you can have an electric. Nice wash basin, and then a mirror that folds back for storage inside. Now let's go to the aft pool. Cabin, so this is a guest cabin. It has an island bed. What you'll see is it has easy access from both sides. Uh, there's a brand new Reba Bry that's going to go on the transoms later. And that's the backrest for the uh, cité and the lounge. And here again you have a nice full length wardrobe in the guest cabin so they can put all the things in there. You can have a hanging space depending on the configuration that you want. And it's a super luxurious bamboo covered highly breathable marine mattresses custom made for Maverick. Yeah, it's just another detail. This lovely mahogany extra storage space. So the engines are on the aft and it keeps the heads and the smell out and then the diesel tanks are underneath the bunks. Right, so that is the Maverick 440. Uh, truly incredible, very capable ocean cruising yacht. If you have the agenda of living on board and circumnavigating uh, you know, as a couple, and you need to be sure that you can sail single-handed. Uh, this is absolute premium choice. Probably the best yacht uh, in its class. This yacht tacks beautifully. It tracks beautifully. It's got the shallowest draft out of any 44-foot catamaran. It's just one meter, just over three feet. So it gives you ac access to all those anchorages and extra safety and security. There's two collision bulkheads. The one is above the waterline uh, by the front of the teeth and one's below the waterline. They're filled with foam so it gives you extra safety on board. So dual redundancy in all, all systems you've got for your sails. Two engines, you've got two water tanks, two diesel tanks, two fresh water systems, two salt water systems. Everything that you need to safely get you around the world in luxury and comfort. It's a very capable yacht. It's just launched by the yard based in Montague Gardens in Cape Town. We'll be heading to Annapolis for the Annapolis Boat Show. And then the owners will live aboard and uh, circumnavigate in their own time, starting off in the Caribbean for a few years and then just enjoying the cruising lifestyle. So that's it, the Maverick 440 from Cape Town, South Africa.